this is one of the most innovative men that I've ever met in my entire life. This is Stephen Hersey, and what he teaches is strength training specialized for women. He also works with men too, but specialized for women, and he taught me how to use ergonomic strength training in the thing, gym. I'm in shape so that I can survive all the shenanigans that go on. You look great. Uh, I'm 63, actually. Do you want to, like, uh, do a little pose for us at all? You know, no, no, not okay. really. You and I both know that women need to strength train in a specialized way that's different from men, and most trainers don't know that. Do you want to just take a couple minutes and talk about what it is to get out of your mind and into your body a, in the gym? It's my passion, so in a sense. What happens is that uh, because women uh, are run by their emotions, that when they have a drop in physical body strength, they become subject to their emotions. Or they actually can go up in their mind or their head like a guy and be very uh, rigid and unflexible. In other words, once they go in their, in their head or they come to a conclusion, you can't move them. They're inflexible and it affects their relationship, even in their business relationship. So we're talking about rumination too. Like women get stuck in their mind from work, from problems, from family issues, and women's mi brains are actually different than men's brains that keeps them sometimes, often actually these days, stuck in their head. It's simply a uh, known fact that uh, that thinking process stays on 24 hours a day. They uh, impede their immune system and it leads to some serious consequences. Well, it's also about feeling too. I mean, I know that when I worked out in power yoga and with Pilates, that my trainers would push me through my abs. I'd say, you know, I don't feel good or I don't like this. And they'd say, well, it's just because your muscles are weak, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's not the truth at all. It had to do with the angle that I was working out with and uh, the way that they had no sense of ergonomics necessarily in certain exercises. So that created bad feelings and pain. And the method was, well, work through bad feelings and pain rather than to listen to your body. That's a fabulous explanation. The, uh, so in short, what my system entails is that we teach women, even men, uh, never to really do anything that feels uncomfortable. Related to personal training, personal training is all based on performance. Come on, let's work out and can you do more than you did before? Uh, what happens is that the women are usually in a pair of shoes that either pinch their feet or they slip and slide. It's rare that they're going to fit in a piece of equipment, a strength training piece of equipment that they can, uh, how do you say, work efficiently. What happens is there's a great transition from doing aerobic type of exercise, Pilates and things of that nature to the benefits of weight training. So if they have pre-existing muscles or they work at the weights, their muscles get a little bit more toned, a little more shine, but they are transferring the aerobic activity to the weights. That means they're getting into a piece of equipment whether it's ergonomic or not, they're exercising with it, but the weight is too low or insufficient to cause any true muscle mass or develop the muscle in a way that they have a better shape. It's not that they don't work out, but they don't know what's really missing. They don't know the synergistic muscles that can make them look more fabulous. So one of the things that Stephen does with the ergonomics and the training, you have the experience of feeling comfortable with every single exercise. And not only that, but it's maximized so that you are working super efficiently. And then, so you're actually gaining tremendous strength with no strain or stress. And that creates new circuitry in the brain, which teaches you to feel your feelings, feel your body, and it actually builds the connection of the right brain, which is what women need to do. Yeah. Exactly. Well, the body requires a certain amount of fuel in it or weights to cause a reaction or a result. And if the weight is too low, then uh, as you age and the hormones change, your body starts to lose the muscles you once had and it's replaced mainly by fat. Uh, most of the time, I won't mention the gym, but when I see personal trainers, nine out of 10 of them are making the person's posture worse. And I'm trying to educate women that there is a better choice and a better method of taking care of their body. Another thing I want to say is that uh, when a person hires a personal trainer, uh, 
they don't know they need like about 800 hours to turn their body around or change it. So if you went with a trainer like uh, three times a week for six months, that's only 72 hours of training. And most of the training is diluted with stretching, aerobics. Uh, the gym has become diluted where you don't really get the true building process. You get diluted like walking lunges, core exercises, or trying to do an arm curl standing on one foot. So, you know, there's a, if you're not a professional or you don't really know your craft, I, I can't say that the person that walks in is totally at fault, but they don't really research a personal trainer like they would a plastic surgeon. Well, thank you for uh, interviewing me today. You're welcome. We'll have another segment. So uh, for those women or men that call up and are irritated because they don't understand what uh, we're uh, really trying to tell them, uh, that we might have a second segment so they can ask me clarifying questions. Well, one of the things, too, is people need to see photos of themselves. You don't know what you look like till you see a photo of yourself, and then you're like, oh, my God. That's what happened to me. Okay. Okay. Hey. It was great. Ciao. Thank you.